right shoulder of Millward as he looks over his blocker side. Wenatchee takes the puck out. They could have a two-on-one shorthanded. Here's Ian Samosa with Parker Murray. Samosa right circle, left wing side. Murray scores! Parker Murray shorthanded gives Wenatchee a one to nothing lead as the Wild dig the puck out from below the goal line. Top of the left circle, Michael Salandra wheels his way to the high slot. Salandra right wing side, midpoint, Luciak a drive. That was blocked into the corner. 20 seconds to go in the Warrior power play. Luciak top of the left circle, slides it down low, Karan, he scores! What a nifty little feed that was by Riley Lusiak on the top of the left circle who looked like he was going to wind up and shoot. He delayed to send the pass back to the left circle and Felix Caron 1-1 hockey game. Puck is loose on the right wing side as Norland tried to play that back in for the blue line. Puck comes out through to center. Now Samoza will work in. Left wing circle back in front to the backhand scores. Garrett Szyslowski took the feed from Ian Samoza from inside the left point, put it back in front of Samoza, took the puck on his forehand, went to his backhand, and they get a faceoff in his own end with 2.39 to go in this opening period and a 12-11 shot advantage for West Kelowna. Shots on goal brought to you by Jody Miller and our friends at Royal LePage with a shot for the right point, and Matt Fusco scores! What a bullet of a shot that was from Fusco at the right wing point off the faceoff win. And just rocketed that puck past the blocker side of Owen Millward. Fusco picks up the marker, his seventh of the year, and the game's tied up 2-2. 38 seconds to go in the power play. Here are the Warriors back in. Lusiak in front to the net stop. Rebound scores. It's Felix Caron again. His second goal of the hockey game. Another power play marker. And the Warriors take their first lead of the night. 3-2 West Kelowna. Unable to connect. Back to the blue line now. It's Bonet back across right side. McCloskey down low. Berger top of the right circle makes his way back up to the midpoint. His long shot scores. Makai Berger at the top of the slot. Fires the puck past Justin Katz who is screened in front of the glove side. Berger's got the goal with 11-13 to go in the second period and we're tied 3-3. Comes down to the left wing corner behind the net on his backhand. Wraps to the right circle. Try to pass it was knocked down. Got it back again. Threw it to the net. Knocked down in front and Duclair's onto it now. Chris Duclair in the left corner, shreds the defender. Back behind the goal, Duclair comes out. Right circle, shot off the post and tipped back in. Chris Duclair with a shot from the right circle that went off the post on the blocker side of Millward and following up on the play. Should be Luciak and Matt Fusco, I believe, that will draw the assist on the goal for Duclair. Puck forced along through center. Now a chance the other way. Here's Jason Stefanik. Right circle shot. Oh, what a stop by Katz. And then Aiden Reeves knocked the puck away from the goal and cleared it out of the crease. Right wing half board for Salandra. Right circle across left side. Here's Karan in the slot. A shot. That was blocked down. Devlin gathers the left circle. Back along a shot there by Luciak is denied. Eight seconds to go in regulation. That puck over Luciak will get the center. Brooks put it ahead, Lusiak ahead, out of the reach of Devlin, and we have got to 60 minutes with no change in score. 4-4 four, four the score. We're going to overtime tonight here in Wenatchee. Cade Littler out through center. Drops it off there for Makai Berger. Getting back inside of the offensive zone now, Littler. Right side, Samoza. Top of the slot, left wing now for Littler. Back to the middle, Samoza right side, back door pass. Just couldn't complete that play to the front of the net. As they had a big man in front of Parker Murray. Samoza high slot, takes the shot, he scores! <laughs> 